Joey, where have you been, Joey? I know, that's what you're asking. I've been freelancing, and I had my first actual client, and I was busy, um, and I had just other stuff going on in my life. I got, I got a drone, so I've been droning stuff, and yeah, just life's been busy, but I'm back doing videos and making blog posts for you guys. What's up guys, Joey Guyther here with JG Multimedia and today we're going to be talking about how to edit your WordPress website by inspecting the page and finding the code and then tracing that code back to where you need to make the edit, whether that's in your WordPress dashboard or your cPanel. So I've been working on this WordPress website and the theme has been kind of tricky. There's not a lot of things that I can specifically edit within the dashboard that I'd like to. Just a lot of things, smaller things that I've had to go in and make minor edits to. And I figured why not share this information on how you can work around the theme and kind of get into the code where you need to be editing so you can make minor fixes yourself. Because sometimes you just can't get into it through the dashboard without going into the code. So as you could see here, this is an e-commerce WordPress theme that I'm working with. Um, and there's a little compare tool that they let you have and incorporate into your theme. However, whenever you use it and you compare items and you exit out of that compare tab, it'll say added. And as you can see here, added kind of the wording is outside the box. So we're gonna have to go in there and fix the boxes with so that when it is added to your compare tool, the wording doesn't go outside that box. Now there are two ways to edit the code within your WordPress website. You can either go into the C panel of your WordPress website, or you can go into your dashboard and the appearance and the editor of your coding. And then you can find the specific code uh, file there and then edit the code within that. So we're going to go over both hopefully quickly. We'll see. So we're going to start off with the C panel editing because why not? And we're going to right click on that element that we want to edit. And once we do that, we go down to inspect. And once we inspect the page, a uh, window is going to slide on over and you can resize it however you want. So it's easy for you to see, but you know, you're in the right area or inspecting the right element when you hover over the element within that window and it highlights it. But what we're focused on is the styles window under that. So you're going to go down and here's actually where you can kind of edit your WordPress website without it really editing. It's just going to show you changes, but it, once you refresh the page, those changes aren't going to be saved. So it's great for kind of trial and error, fixing um, styles and stuff like that um, without really affecting your website. So it's good to mess around with and see what's going to fix this problem. So for me, after a little bit of trial and error, I found out that it was simply just the width and I just need to increase the width to 55 pixels instead of 34 to make it large enough to hold the wording within that container. But what we're really interested in is where this code actually is. So we're able to inspect the page and edit it here, but we want to know where we can edit it within the C panel so we can make the change permanent. So to do that, you're just going to hover on over the little text to the right, to the far right of where you just edited uh, your width or for you, whatever element you just edited. And you're gonna hover over that and that's actually gonna tell you your file path location to where that code is held. So you can either write that path down or memorize that path, but you're gonna wanna know that path because that's how you're gonna navigate to this file in your cPanel. So you're also going to want to then copy the code that's to the left of it. And that's just the container that contains all those edits. And that's going to help you find this specific uh, editing code that you're going to want to make within your code file because the code files are big. There's a lot of code within them and you're going to want to make sure that you change the right thing. So copy and paste this. This is just going to help you find the width 55 pixels for me that I want to change. So once you have that code container copied so you can locate the code within the file and the file path memorized or written down, you're going to head over to your cPanel. So once you're in the cPanel, you're going to head over to file manager. And once you're in the file manager, locate wherever your WordPress website's being hosted, 
locate that file and then you're just going to want to follow that file path that you either memorized or wrote down and it's eventually going to get you to the file location of the code that you want to edit so once you're you find that file holding your code you're going to right click on it and edit that code and then click anywhere within the code and you can then control f to search for a phrase or a word and once you control F, the little search box is going to come up in the top right or wherever. And you're going to copy and paste that container wording where that code's being stored. And then you're going to hit enter. So this is just searching this entire code for that specific container thread. And that's going to help you locate where you're going to make this edit that worked when you inspected the page. So for me, like I said, it was just increasing the width of that uh, container that box so I'm just gonna do that and save the file and then I'm gonna head on over back to my WordPress theme that specific page to make sure that it worked I'm just gonna refresh the page uh, it's control f5 to do a refresh or like an all new refresh it's like a super refresh if you think about it but that's gonna bring in that new edit to the page and as you can see here it worked perfectly so that's how you can inspect the page and edit your code through cPanel so now we're going to edit our WordPress website using the dashboard and going into the appearance and the editor section to access the file and the code there. Now this process is no more easy or no more hard. It's just whether you want to get into your cPanel or not. Personally, I like the cPanel just because I find it easier to find the file within that, just going through that file path instead of going into the dashboard and clicking all the drop down things. But that's just preference for me. But once you right click and inspect the element, which you want to change, the directions are more or less the same for what it was for the cPanel. There's the elements up top and you know if you're in the right section because you hover over it and it highlights whatever you just inspected. And then you're going to head on down to the styles section within that little window that popped out. And you're going to do the same thing where you're going to check and see what edit's going to fix your problem, kind of mess around in there. Again, for me, it was just the width. And so as you can see here, you hover over that file path name. And again, write that down and memorize it. And then copy and paste that container. And again, that's just going to help you find out where your code is that you're going to want to edit within that entire file because you can just control F or search that phrasing, that container phrasing. And it's going to follow right up with the code that you're going to want to edit. It's going to take you right to that location, that spot, because again, there's a lot of code in these files. So you're going to want to head over to your dashboard and then go down to appearance and then the editor. And once you're in that theme editor, what you're going to want to do is then locate that file, that file name that was at the end of that path. So you could use that path to help you find that last file, but you're going to want to end up clicking on that last file name and that's where your code edit's going to be. So once you're at the file location where you're going to make that edit to the code, you're going to want to then click within the code within the editor, just so you're searching for that phrasing within the code and not the page itself. So control F once you click it in the code, copy and paste that container phrasing um, and hit enter. And it should only come up with one result. Hopefully um, I haven't run into it where there's been multiple results, but this is just going to take you right to where you need to make your edit. So for me, it was just the changing the width to 55 pixels. So I'm going to make that edit and then update the file, save those changes. And then you're going to want to head over to that page where you want to see your edit happen and control F5 or super refresh as I like to call it. Yeah, the change has been made. So that's how you can inspect your WordPress theme and see where you need to make edits to the code because sometimes the theme doesn't give you access to certain changes and you need to go into the coding a little bit just to make those changes. Hopefully you should know what you're doing in this. Um, don't go willy nilly into your code and change things because sometimes, you know, that container that that change could affect things within your site. So if it's like a header color, it's going to change all the header colors and stuff like that. So you just want to be aware of what you're doing. I have a very basic level knowledge as probably by you could tell that 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 as you could tell by what I'm calling some of the stuff. I don't think, you know, I took the, the website class, but styles, elements, attributes, I probably mixed them up. I'm sorry. Hopefully 
you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the wording. Copy the wording, paste the wording, put the wording in, search the wording, change the wording. That's how I work. <laughs> but if this video did help you guys out, leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out. If you guys have any questions or concerns on the topic, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to reach out and help you guys out. Um, or just, you know, if you have an inquiry about what I do, um, send me an email through my website. It'll be linked down below as well. Check out my social media. And yeah, that's about it. Again, I apologize for the wording of this video. Uh, hopefully I got some of the website uh, wording correct. The, what, what do you call it? The website. Website wording is good alliteration. The website wombo, wimbo. This is a word I'm missing. I don't know. I can't think of it. I can't. All right. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully my videos will be a little bit more consistent now that I don't have a side freelance thing going on. I do, but not just like a job at the time at this moment. So the, the, the videos might be pouring out now in my creative mind. Yeah. All right. Bye. Sick and tired.